sure goes nothing. <gasps> oh, thank you for cheering for me. I feel like it's like poop shaming or something. <laughs> Would you do this? Well, sir, you have piqued our curiosity. What is this? <laughs> saves the day. I'm Tom. And I'm Cherie. And we sold everything for a life of freedom and full-time travel. Follow our journey for tips and we also share our mistakes. So be sure to hit that subscribe button. So we've got to solve a problem. Yes. <laughs> we have a little problem. We've or, had this problem before. Or it's a big problem. <laughs> it's a big problem. <laughs> well we are in an Encore RV campground and the spot we're in, although it's paid for and we have to pay nothing extra for two weeks worth of staying. Which is a great deal. It's awesome. Yeah. And here we are. I mean, we're near a lake and there is a beach here, by the way. We'll need to check that out. <laughs> See what kind of beach that is. <laughs> anyway, uh, 50 amp water and we're missing something. <laughs> what are we missing? Dump. <laughs> we don't have a sewer here. Yeah, we're, we're gonna have a difficulty with that. Yeah, because we're staying here for a while and what a lot of people don't understand, I mean, I see comments all the time, like if you don't like your neighbors, just pick up and move. It's not that simple. Maybe it is for like a camper van, but to have an, a large RV like this, picking up and moving is not really an option, not right. a great option, because it takes hours to pick up, to do the pickup part. And then moving is cumbersome. Yeah, it really is. The dump station is way over there, probably four or five hundred yards. Right, and we would have to go a couple times while we're staying here yeah. for the length of time that we're staying here. We're usually good about five or six days without needing to dump. Right, and we also have to be really conservative on water. Very quick showers, careful on how we wash dishes and all of that. That's no fun. I I'm not a fan. <laughs> no, we, we love to have uh, complete full hookups but we also love basically free for two weeks. Yep. So we're gonna make an investment that I've been looking at for a while. I'm not really excited about it. Sheree thinks a, I'm like- A portable poopy dump? <laughs> yes, an RV tote. And we're gonna go shopping for an RV Yay, tote Yay, that's what kind today. of shopping I like to do. Well, what poopy else? tote shopping. Yeah, I mean, what? What better could you spend $350 on? Really? I know. That's the best. That and tires. It, is, is there like any multi-purpose we can use that for? Oh God. <laughs> we can Gross. use it as a this little... This whole conversation is just beyond as, my enjoyment. As a little enjoyment. table. <laughs> you know, it can be an extra chair at the campsite. I don't know anybody that would want to sit on it. <laughs> Anyway, no, the RV totes have one purpose and one purpose alone, and I believe it's going to be well worth it considering how much money we're going to save uh, in being able to stay at more sites like this because this does happen when you get outside of the RV resorts, more yeah. of the campground style. So it's not going to change any of our habits on being conservative inside the RV. Right. That way I'm not like running like every few hours with yeah. that tote. You don't want to do that? <laughs> no. Mm -hmm. No. But it's going to have like this little like deal. <laughs> you enjoying the uh, no. northern bugs here? I think here? it's time to go. So Please. it's time to get yeah. going. But I'll be able to Let's go poopy dump tank shopping. Why do guys think poopy jokes are so funny? <laughs> I called about the RV tote. <laughs> Okay, great. And we're having the greatest time talking about poop. Like the, the whole conversation about poop has been so much fun. It's like, oh. <laughs> Don't oh, no. you can't get away from that shit. I <laughs> We love to spend money on poop items. What else can you spend? It's not as fun as about buying toilet time. paper. It's a big mm -hmm. tote. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, we need Do I want to try one. it out? <laughs> Oh my god. How's your aim? Do you have an RV in for service that needs to be dumped? Right. <laughs> to try it out. Wow, look at all the varieties. This is so exciting. <laughs> Let me take a selfie. Here. You guys could engrave your names on it. 
that'd be sweet. <laughs> were, you, were you gonna get a big poop emoji and stick it on there? <laughs> Three hundred fifty dollars worth of poop tote. A big plastic tote <laughs> with wheels. <laughs> poop on wheels. <laughs> That's a new hashtag. Instead of home on wheels, it's poop on wheels. <laughs> Like in a parade? I mean, this would be Throw perfect, your right? Turns. <laughs> It's time to use the blue tote for the first time. We've been at this campsite four or five days, been conserving water, but it's time. And this place is about to get packed for a holiday weekend. So got to get the blue tote out of the car. Be the last time it rides in the car. Time to attach the bar. There. In all of the online reviews, it did say not to use the included hose that this hose was very cheap. It looks very cheap not to use that. This right here, I know lets air out so fluid can come in. That I know, so we'll put that there but not on tight. The release valve right here. Wow, it's tight. It's very tight. <laughs> Okay, so that's acting brand new. So I need to put a, one of these caps on there. And then the intake right here, I've got to put a cap over that. I think the rest of this can go back in here and I won't use all of that, at least right now. Attach these so I don't lose the cap. It snaps on right like that. There we go. We got a little gravity issue. This pipe is lower than that. I gotta think about this one. This is what's gonna hold that handle so I can tow it to the dump station. And I have done it by hand before up in Montana and 40 gallons full of liquid. Fully my hand is not very light. Just go ahead and there, just like that. So that's ready to go. Yeah, what I really need is a, sh is a very short hose to go from there to here. This will work. The only thing is that makes it higher. No. Maybe I should look at the instructions to see if there isn't a solution for our height issue here. Real quickly. Nope. I don't see anything. That'd be a recipe for disaster. Maybe gonna have to go with the elbow. Maybe I'll test with gray water first. That might be a good idea. Make sure both valves are closed. That looks great. All right, here goes nothing. didn't work out right. The uh, gray tank popped right off of that. That would have been a bad situation if that had been sewage. Maybe a little more space farther away. That's got 
got to stay on there. Hang on to that this time. And it seems to be filling up. I think what I'll be able to do is manipulate the hose, shut off the valve, get most of it out, disconnect, and I don't think, I think I can be careful and not have any spillage. It's just learning how to do this and handle the hose properly. There, that was a problem. I hadn't released that valve to let air out so it wasn't flowing in quite as fast as it should be. I can see this is not going to be a fast process. I don't think Cherie's going to want to ride on this anymore. I'm starting to trust that maybe that it's going to stay and not fly off of there. So I'm going to go ahead and close it. Close the cap up there and just gently get the rest of it in there just like that it's pretty full and I should use disposable gloves but I'm not because I've got to take them off and on all the time almost no mishaps uh, <laughs> thankfully only a gray water small gray water mishap I haven't touched this with anything dirty yet so I could try to pull it by hand actually it's not it's not too bad, but I would get a heck of a workout because the dump station is way over there on the other side of that building. And I've got to take three total trips with this. Three different 40-gallon tanks. That's what we're looking at. So this is not a simple thing. Uh, there are some RV parks that have a honey wagon service that you can pay money and I didn't even check here. I figured we'd get one of these now. That way we've got it when we need it. Even if we only use it three or four times a year, probably use it more than that. It's going to be worth it. <laughs> get this blue tote party started here. have like backup cameras for blue totes so I can keep an eye on this thing and if there's any issues I would know oh yeah this is exciting I remember staring at somebody in I think Curry Hammock State Park that had one of these I feel like it's a poopy parade okay still looks good <laughs> You void the warranty if you go over five miles an hour, <laughs> which I am definitely not planning on doing. People are staring at me. Kids are saying, hey, I want to ride. Yeah, I'm the entertainment here, and I'm going to be doing this how many times? Because I don't have full hookups. Oh, speed bumps. That's not going to be a good thing <laughs> with this setup here. <laughs> yeah, well, it's my first time. Uh, we don't have a sewage Water. hookup at our uh, oh, at our site, so okay. I bought the bought the blue tote. <laughs> okay, well, so, yeah, it, good good that it's back here see? and not up in the front seat with you then, yeah, right? <laughs> yeah, it doesn't ride with you. So well, that's interesting. Uh, that's kind of cool, though. Yeah, Very, it's. Uh, you could really go like way off the grid and still have. <laughs> yeah, best three hundred and fifty dollars I ever spent. Oh, well, is that right? Well, there you go. <laughs> <Not really. laughs> yeah. <laughs> well, now we know. So thank you for enlightening us. You bet. <laughs> and make sure this valve is closed. <laughs> See, everybody is curious about the blue tote. There. See, not a drip comes out. So what I'll do is I'll release this a little bit, this valve to let air through, so it will go right out. Pull that up, and away it goes. Glug, 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 glug. Sit here twiddling my thumbs. So I think what my plan is gonna be is to do the black tank next, and then gray number two. So gray number two kind of washes out the tank. It's not gonna be a very pleasant 
thing, I think I've got to either leave it in the back of the truck for driving around or strap it to the, <laughs> to the bike rack. Yeah, that's going to be hot. Can you imagine if that was full of poo and I hit a speed bump? Ugh. That could be bad. You want some hilarious reading about stuff like this? Read the reviews on Amazon for these blue totes. I mean, they can't be real. Maybe they are, but they are freaking hilarious. Oh my gosh. I feel like it's like poop shaming or something. <laughs> It's like, oh, look what he has to do. He has to use the blue toe because he doesn't have full hookups. One out of three is done. Yay. Okay, now there's no room for error on this one. Check the valves, make sure everything is closed before I dare. So ordinarily, again, you do black first and then gray but because of the situation I've got to do, and testing, which I'm so glad I did, uh, now we're gonna do black. I'm just gonna have to rinse it down from inside since I don't have any gray water, and it only holds 40 gallons, so it's not, the black tank's not full, but I'm not gonna be able to do the thorough rinse that I normally would do. Cross my fingers and my gloves. Ah, I don't even want to be near it when it's doing this. It's like I want to stay... I want to be back here by the emergency shutoff in case something happens. No room for air. <sighs> oh, thank you for cheering for me. Yeah, it's hard. I can hire a kid to do this. Five bucks maybe? Maybe a honey wagon service would be easier than this. Would you do this? So if anybody has a better solution for going uphill, definitely let me know in the comments um, if you found something else that works. I'm sure a lot of you with smaller RVs would be like, ah, we just, you know, we just pack up, go to the dump station and not mess with all of this. It might look like fun, but it's full of poo, so. <laughs> of course, kids see it and they want to ride on it. <laughs> it's like, uh, no, you don't want to do that. I just realized this. The blue tote matches the blue kayaks. So we could go floating down the stream with the blue tote. It's an extra floaty. That's another use for it. Well, I'll get the hang of it. I think the next few times will not be this time consuming. Last gray tank to wash it out and be done with this process. <laughs> Maybe I want to conserve a little more water. You want to take a ride on the blue tote? Oh, please. It's only been used for black tank one time. Gross. This is our kitchen water, so it shouldn't take as long. Be a good washout for the tank and the hose. <laughs> third and final dump here tonight. I think I've been on this project here for a couple hours. <laughs> so I'm gonna try something. I don't know if it can work or not. I haven't done the research on it. But one of the things we can't do being on tanks is we were told not to run uh, the washing machine because it will, it's 40 gallon tank. I did the research, it's maybe eight to 16 gallons per load. But, you know, because I've had tank issues, I've had tanks replaced. I once had a tank fall through um, when I was doing a, a load of laundry. And so it, it just, tanks and RVs can be an issue. But if I leave this connected, this is a 42 gallon uh, blue tote and 40 gallon, that gives us 82 gallons possible. 
that we should be able to do a couple of loads of laundry and be okay. Uh, it feels a little risky to me, and I don't know if anybody else has tried this. Uh, it's either that or the laundromat, and that's kind of a pain too. So blue totes a pain, dumping's a pain, uh, full hookups. That's the that's the ticket. Well, my little experiment worked well. I dumped it last night when it was dark, but basically I've got the gray tank valve closed. I don't want to leave it open when this seems to easily want to pop off. But I did run one load of the washing machine, just a quick wash, and it, yeah, I'm gonna guess that 10 or 10 to 15 gallons of water came through after I opened the valve up. So that's that's like all we would do. One quick load, make sure we empty it into here, which I did. So Cherie needs to do a load today, and then I will empty that. And actually, before she does that, we do a couple of showers, whatever. Empty that first into here, close the valve, run another load, open it up, drain it all in here. By that time, there's probably enough to take it back to the dump station. Yeah, we should be set. Because we're, we're here less than a week now. I'm thinking we'll be set. I won't have to pull this out again but the blue tote saves the day so I'm gonna say the blue tote is a success uh, we're at the end of our stay at this place 11 days in one spot did not have to move so this is my plan right here is to leave the blue tote right there and I think there's enough room, but man, I don't know. That's, it's really close and I don't know quite how it's gonna line up with the hitch right now. If I'm gonna have to go up and then lower it to make it work. I'm thinking that's gonna ride good. There's plenty of space here. Why am I touching the blue toe with my bare hand? I like this setup a little bit better here. Shorter hose and you can see when the contents are done.